Hey, this is scottphotographybonza.com. To do another photo review, in this case, Soycon 2012. It's a local gathering with cosplayers, photographers. Happens over multiple days. I just went to the one on Saturday, which is the main photo related event. It has various things that they do. They do a cosplay contest, they do singing, uh, water balloon fight. I think that was on the second day. Lots of other various things. So I'm going to talk about the photos that I took, some of the good ones, some of the bad ones, and the equipment that I was using. First photo, see the cosplayer, she's doing uh, Final Fantasy cosplay. I like the photo. The facial expression works with the character. Um, pretty fun. Nice photo. Next one. I also like this photo a lot. The angle, just slight. It's pretty good. I managed to get her full uh, prop in the photo, on top of it. And the bricks, I think, work well. They have a lot of nice texture to them. Another good thing about this photo is the background is not blown out. Here's a group photo. Decent, just general angle. It's not tilted or any weird stuff to it. It's got the banner there, which helps kind of show you what the picture is about. Here is the group of volunteers that make the event possible. And uh, it's kind of a close shot. Let's see, I was using the 24 millimeter lens. It's probably standing up and putting my camera down. Just a fun picture with a lot of emotion to it. This one that I liked with the Xena cosplayer. That was with the 24 millimeter lens and Pentax K01, mirrorless camera. Here's another group photo. Another, for some reason I did this specific angle a lot where more of the content is in the lower right instead of the lower left. I'm not sure why I kept doing that, but sometimes it just happens naturally and it's something I need to work on in the future so I don't do it as much. I think in some situations it works really well, but doing it too much is too much of a good thing, if that's possible. Here's one that I didn't like too much, just a simple photograph with the 24mm, and it's not very exciting. Same in this situation. I believe someone else was taking your photo, so I couldn't get close enough, and I use prime lenses most of the time. It's not going to zoom for me, so I have to zoom myself in. And in that situation, I wasn't able to. This one has a little too close. Her foot is slightly cropped on the bottom. And she's looking at, uh, probably at another photographer. I'm not sure at the time. But the angle there is too much of a profile, side profile. So when you're like that, you don't see as much of the costume. This one, just not too exciting. It must have been someone else taking their photo because she's looking off to the side and then looking towards me. That happens quite a bit, but... Yeah. Okay. See, it's, this one's pretty decent. I like, in this case, I like that she's looking off to the side. It works well with that. And the motorcycle, of course, adds some fire to the image. This one here, the sky is blown out. Sometimes it's unavoidable. You know, if the if the sky is truly white looking. Chances are your photo won't have any blue in it. So let's go to the next group. Here's another with the motorcycle. 
In this case, I think it works really well. The problem here is that I think the lens and camera that was the K5 with the 85mm f1.4, it was front focusing, so it didn't get exactly what I wanted. Here's one with Never Two Cosplay again. I like this photo. It's nice and sharp, colorful. The background is simple, but it doesn't. It fits well with the situation and the character enough because Naruto is a ninja. He's out in the wilderness a lot, fighting people and things like that. So it works. This one here, I took multiple frames, but this is the only one that I liked her facial expression and where she was looking. But this is intentional and her character does that, plays with her hair a lot, I guess. So that works well. It's a little blurry, but I like the composition of it. Here's Xena once more. This was my favorite one of the little photo session we had. Most especially because of the angle that I chose to use. Again, with the, more of the content on the lower right. But yeah, I, I like it in this situation and I like her pose. This one, this is the girl with the motorcycle, and my friend is taking a photo here. I didn't have enough time to change my aperture, so, so it ended up with her blurred in the background as f1.4. I had intentionally wanted to go to a small aperture so I get both in focus, but I didn't have enough time. Still kind of an interesting photo. It was just a nice indicator of how great lens can give you a great photo. That was the 85mm, although in this case f3.2. Nice sharp photo. Cute girl, you know. Uh, only problem here is her shoulder is slightly cut off. Let's see. So that was probably about it for this little excursion, I guess you could say. Thanks.